that his shop in Bolton, Irfan, doesn't normally get angry about front-page stories in the papers, but today he's livid. Him being our Prime Minister after what he's done, he should have resigned. Families and families, their parents, kids, children passed away. I have a mate who's my age, 41 years old. He's passed away, you know, in Bolton, Bolton Hospital. It's a sickening. You know, he's left two kids, only nine-year-old and 14-year-old. Who's going to look after them now? And our, our Prime Minister going doing this? It's just unreal. Bolton knows the cost of COVID, having seen some of the highest infection rates early on and some of the toughest restrictions. If there are those here who don't care about the Downing Street party, we certainly couldn't find them. Instead, people like trainee electrician Matthew, who lost his nan at the time without a proper goodbye, say this is about trust. It's a bit, a bit like a kick it face, really, isn't it? You can't trust them as much. Sort of thing. Of this, this I think so, yeah, I think so. If they're telling people to do one thing and then doing the completely, complete opposite, then, yeah, it's the sort of thing is you trust, isn't it? Digesting the story at the next table, retired care workers Kevin and Marilyn. The things that come out about what's going on um, with Boris, and um, it, just, it just doesn't surprise me. It's as though they think that they're more superior than everybody else, that germs don't affect that, that don't affect them. They're breaking their own rules, aren't they? And they're asking us to stand by them rules, you know, COVID and um, lockdown. And it's just uh, gets too much. And it doesn't make politics look very uh, appetising, does it? At the courthouse bar and restaurant, Hershiv, still reeling from lockdowns which disrupted his business and cost some staff their jobs, wants answers. To hear that they had a party for 100 people and we was sat at home, staff were sat at home, business couldn't trade, bills were piling up. I just I still am in shock and I actually can't believe it. I think somebody should be held accountable. If we don't get cut no slack and we weren't allowed to do it, why are you? That's what I would ask them. Questions, frustration, dented trust. Just when the people of Bolton, like the rest of us, are still being asked to do their bit. Peter Lane, 5 News.